Back in the 1930s, an Aboriginal activist was so moved by the plight of Jews under the murderous Nazi regime that he led a protest march to the German consulate in Melbourne. It was one of the first protests of its kind and William Cooper also gathered a petition against such cruel persecution. Today in Jerusalem, he became the first Indigenous person to be honoured at the Yad Vashem Memorial. SBS reporter Luke Waters travelled with Mr Cooper's family to attend the ceremony. For William Cooper's grandson Alfred Turner, the long journey from Marutna, Victoria to Israel was taxing but worthwhile. Mr Turner and 15 members of the Cooper family watched on as Foreign Minister Kevin Rudd unveiled the plaque honouring William Cooper's stand against the Nazis. The family is very proud of uh, this uh, award in honour of my grandfather and uh, yeah, we're really proud. William Cooper was a fierce advocate for Indigenous rights, establishing the Australian Aborigines League and campaigning relentlessly for land rights, citizenship and parliamentary representation for his people. But that focus changed when he learned of Kristallnacht or the Night of the Broken Glass. More than 100 Jews were killed, their homes destroyed and synagogues burned in Europe. William Cooper led a delegation to the steps of the German consulate in Melbourne condemning the atrocities. He just knew he had to do something. The whole world was silent. He's the only man, he's an Aboriginal man with no rights, but he just said, no, it's wrong, and I'm going to do something about it. He understood, and he acted. And that action has been recognised with the creation of an academic chair endorsed by political, business and religious leaders from Israel and Australia. The new academic chair will be based here at Yad Vashem, Jerusalem, the world's preeminent Holocaust museum. It will be the first professorship to research the resistance measures taken out against the Nazis throughout the Holocaust. But it has been overshadowed by, over the time by uh, a study of the perpetrators, and uh, which is understandable, but we want to bring uh, this uh, topic back into uh, the forefront of research. As a boy, Alfred Turner lived with William Cooper on the bank of the Murray River. He remembers his grandfather as a quiet, humble man who'd struggle with the attention and accolades of the presentation. He would be embarrassed knowing him. Yes, he, he didn't look for anything like this. And uh, uh, I think down, down deep he would appreciate it, but uh, outwardly he would be embarrassed. But for his family, there was no embarrassment, only pride. In Jerusalem, Luke Waters, World News Australia.